cognitive decline, mental fitness. It was a talk of the town, right? What were your perceptions of the two candidates in terms of their mental fitness before the debate? Let's start with that. I thought he was better than what he was, and then as the debate went on, and then just watching him stumble over words, and just even like a speech impediment and things like that, I was like, hmm, there's a red flag, there's a concern here. Do you think it's a, a speech impediment? Or do you think it's a cognitive decline? I think it's a cognitive decline. Yeah, yeah definitely, um, like, like you were saying, I definitely there's there were some health issues there because when I seen Biden get up there, I was like, man, is this debate going to go past? You know, is it going to actually go? Is he going to like maybe sometimes have like a medical condition where he needs to kind of like back out mid debate because his like his facial expressions and even how he looked, it was I was very concerned. So how does that affect who you guys are going to vote for? I honestly, I at this point I have to like it has to narrow down to the like the topics more than the candidate. Okay. Like how they're going to be on mm -hmm. each of these topics. Yeah, because if I'm real being honest with you, I honestly think if Biden gets reelected, which, you know, um, I don't think he's going to make it all four years. Because he doesn't look too healthy. But at the same time, I feel like Trump's old too. But we don't know his health either. I mean, he looks okay, right? He doesn't look as old as Biden does. But I just think that... Um, they're both old, like really old. <laughs> so either both of them, I mean, they, I don't know if they could make it four years. Up until this point in the conversation, there was a lot of conversation about, well, I'm going to have to go with Biden, well, I'm going to have to, you know? And then now we're talking about this mental fitness. So I'm curious, like, does his mental fitness or unfitness <laughs> kind of erase out all those other things we were talking about or no? It makes a tough choice. I mean, it really does. I mean, because as we're saying, you, we have to determine you have one candidate who has cognitive issues. Yeah. You have another candidate who has no plan and, and doesn't talk about any of the issues at all. <laughs> like they don't re he's really not concerned about the issues. He's concerned about his image. Hey, and I'm re-elected president and all of that. And I'm like, I don't know if I want that type of individual lead the country either. So I really have to sit and weigh. I sort of thought maybe, a, now that we're having this mm -hmm. discussion right now, now maybe I have to slow the roll for a minute and be like, okay, <laughs> think about it for a minute. If Biden gets in there, something happens one day and he gets caught in one of those cognitive moments, could lead to something else. I mean, as a country, you don't, you never want to see it when yeah. you're yeah. You know, stricken. Let's say Biden gets elected, and let's say, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but you brought it up, so I'm just going to say, let's say he doesn't make it all four years. So Kamala would mm -hmm. then assume the presidency. How do we feel about that? She's smart enough to surround herself with smart people. You're just going a lot of yeah. I want you to say what you really think. Laquan, you're here for a reason. I mean, I, I have to agree. I think I think Kamala would put you know put herself around smart people to make great decisions. I yeah. think. I think. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we talk about Biden, and I ex what I saw tonight was pretty consistent with with what I ex expected just from knowing him the last few years. But he surrounds him. I mean, he's been in politics for 50 years. He knows he needs that team around him, too. So Kamala, like you guys said, would have that team around her to support her. Biden has that, too. So I'm not, like, super worried about I mean, it's not encouraging, but, mm -hmm. but uh, I would encourage people to look at other. I mean, we used to have more than two parties in this country, like, over 100 years ago or 150 years ago or whatever. 